Okay, now we are going to do lab number six. So please open lab six. So what do we have here? Here we are going to use sub-interfaces. Uh, last time we did the, uh, the mapping. Now we are going to use sub-interfaces. Okay. So if you look, let's say here on router one, you can see that we have uh, two DLCIs configured on router one, but we have divided, we have added logical interface to router one. So I have a physical interface as zero slash zero slash zero. I added, I, I configured it as two logical interfaces and we will see how we will do that. You can also open the lab six word file on your computer. I'm sorry to do uh, again the name. Yes, 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 yes. This is a new lab. Okay. It's uh, it's shorter even than the first one. So click on router one. CLI. Enable. Configure terminal. And then we will put which command? Encapsulate. We, we call the interface, yes. Very good, very good. MashaAllah. Interface as zero slash zero, the physical interface. And then encapsulation. Frame relay. Okay, don't forget to open the interface because we are going to configure it. Then we'll do the same thing on router 2 and router 3. Leave router 1 open. Router 2, cell I, enable, config, terminal, interface, S0 slash 0 slash 0, okay. Dana, you are doing the lab? Sorry, Hassan. Encapsulation. Majid, Majid, please. La, la, Nasser. No bullying. <laughs> okay. Encapsulation. Frame relay. Then no shutdown. Yeah, here we are going to sub interface. That the inter we are going to sub interface that physical interface. We will do a logical interface. Okay, you will see now. Okay. And then we go to R3. CLI. Enable config the interface as zero slash zero slash zero. Okay. Encapsulation frame relay. No shutdown. All right. So we are done with the first part. If I want to test connectivity here, will it work? No. Because still we are not done. Okay. So we have to configure the frame relay. 
Uh, here, this time, we are going to do a point-to-point -point sub interfaces. So each router requires two sub interfaces to reach the other routers. The DLCI to reach the, these routers are provided below. Yes, DLCI. So here, let's do one, and then you will understand exactly how does it work. So let's go to router one. While we are on the interface, I will call the interface S0 slash 0 slash 0. Okay. Look what I will do. Dot 2, dot 2, and then it is point, point to point. Okay. Point, point dash 2, dash point. All right. Dot two is a logical interface. It's not really a real physical, another interface inside the interface. It's a logical interface. You okay, Charles? Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Enter. Oh, by the way, this command. Just hold on. This command. Uh, look how I copied the command. I just highlighted and copy, okay? I'm not going to use it here. I will do it on the main. I'll go back one step, and then I will do it here. This way, it will be affected, effective. So I am telling the router that my interface, this is a new logical interface that I will be using, okay? See now? It's, it's created this interface, and it is up. Now I will give it an IP address. I just hit enter. I will give an IP address. IP address. Okay. Ten. Dot one. Dot one. Dot one. And then we'll give the subnet mask two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot 252. A flashback revision question. How many bits we are borrowing here for the subnet mask? Very good. Excellent. We have borrowed six bits. MashaAllah. Six bits. Okay. Eight plus eight plus eight. Okay. Plus six. 24. Uh, so it is. 30 bits, okay? So we borrowed from the last one, six bits. Usually we do this for the one link. Why? Because we don't want to waste a lot of host, host bits, okay? Done. Now we will give it also a DLCI number. This is linking to router two. So we'll, we'll do frame relay, okay? Interface DLCI 102. Oops, no, there is a mistake here. I by mistake I pressed. Uh, okay, DLCI 102. Okay. And then we will do now. We will configure another interface, another logical interface dot three. This will link to router three. So again, now we will do. Interface dot three. It's very, very logical. Point two point. Okay. All right. Very good. Now we will give the IP address and we will set up the DLC. Okay. IP address. See how using the history command is makes our life easier. IP address 10.1.3.2. We get these addresses from the table. If 
you, if you are asking, where am I getting this address from the table? 255.255.252. Okay. Again, I am using 252 or the subnet mask because we don't waste, want to waste on a one link a lot of hosts. So I am borrowing, I am leaving only two bits for the host because I really need only two hosts. One for this side, one for this side. Okay. This is just a flashback on your CIN 2103 course. And then we do frame relay frame relay, and then we do the DLC, DLCI interface. Okay, DLCI this time is 103. It is linking to router 3. All right, now step number three, add network entries to, entries to EIGRP autonomous system. Uh, what is EIGRP? EIGRP is a routing protocol, okay? And this, this protocol, we need to set it up on the router. Now, we are not going to dig deep into this protocol. This is not part of our lecture today. No, neither we will ask you about this in the theory exam. But you need to know that we are using the AIGRP as our router. So here we put the command router. We just exit, going back to the router configuration. And then router. EIGRP one. Autonomous system is one. One means autonomous system. Okay? Autonomous system. And then also I am mapping or routing the networks, the two networks that I have. I have network 10.1.1.1. After we finish, I will explain to you some theory about this routing protocol so that it will and it will, it will give you just an idea about how does it work okay it's zeros dot zero dot zero dot three uh, by the way this is not the subnet mask this is called wide mask it's the opposite of subnet mask again after I finish this lab I will explain to you some theory about this EIGRP Okay, but it is not part of this lecture. It is 10.1.1.0, yes. This is a typo. This dot zero. Ten dot one dot one dot zero and then the wild, wild mask is 0 .0 0 0.0.0.3. Yes, what's your question? Uh, this is, that's what I'm telling you. We are, we are configuring the routing protocol. When I configure the routing protocol, I have to tell the router what are the networks connected to this, inter, to this router. I just give the, name, the IP address of this network. Okay. I will explain to you more theory about this course or this topic, but after we finish the lab, because this is a lab exercise. Just give me five minutes to finish the lab, then I will explain to you more information about the EIGRD, my own means. Okay? Good, we have to do this command, yes. You have to type the command, EIGRP1, and do the network. These, two command, you, these three commands, you have to type them. You have to enter them. And then the second network is dot three dot ten dot one dot three dot zero and then zero dot zero dot zero dot three. Now we will do similar thing on router two. Okay. So let's go to router two, please. I'm 
just checking the interfaces here. Yeah. Okay, on router two, we are going to configure point-to-point -point, uh, interface. On uh, we are going to to configure that on the router. So we'll do config t, and then interface. I'm going to create a logical interface. Okay, on s zero slash zero slash zero dot one. Okay. And it is a point to point. All right. We give it an IP address. The IP address you can get it from the table. Okay. IP address. Can you tell me the IP address? 10.1. Dot two, okay, and the subnet mask dot. You see, we are always using two five two on the one links to save on host addresses. Two five two. All right. Now we are going to configure the DLC. So we'll do a frame relay interface PLCI. by the way this is one command and if you type tab it will com complete it for you interface okay and the number is 201 because this is linking to router one okay we'll do also another logical interface this time dot three, this will link to router three. All right. Point two point. Okay. And then we'll give it an IP address according to our to the table on top. What's the IP address? Ten dot one dot two dot one. Dot one two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two five two. Okay. And then we will set up the DLCI number. This time it is what is our DLCI? Two zero three. Excellent. Because it's linking for router three. Now, here we are going to use EIGRP entries. We are going to add the entries for router two, which is the routing table entries. So here on router, first we exit from here, and then router, we inform the router to use this routing table, EIGRP, and then the autonomous zone is one. So they are all in the same world. They are all using the same autonomous zone. Okay, autonomous area or autonomous system. And then the network, the connected to network to this router are 10.1.1.0. These entries we get it through the table 0 0.3. Okay, oops, there is a mistake here. I uh, should not give space. Uh, no, I did not. Sorry, here there should be a space here and then 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.3. All right, yeah. And then also another entry for the second network, which is 10.1.2.0. Okay, and the wildcard mask is 0 .0 0.0.0.3. Okay. Now, can you please configure router three? Go to router three and type these commands, all right? Go to router three and type these commands.
you can follow with me also if you are still. Let me just see the configuration, what we have already done. That frame relay is configured, so we are all okay. Config T. Okay. Now we are on router 3. Interface S0 slash 0 slash slash what? Yeah. Dot one. Point to point. Two dash point. All right. Now we'll give it an IP address. IP address, okay, and that's 10.1.3.1. You can get this address from the table, a given table, and the subnet mask again is 255.255.255.252. Okay, and then we set up the frame relay. Del C frame relay interface is one one word and it is three zero one because this will be linking to router one. Okay, we set up another interface dot two okay I don't know whether we can use Point to point. All right. So you see, it is it's been created. We'll give it an IP address. Ten dot one dot two dot two. Two dot two, and then subnet mask as always. Two five five dot two five five. 255.252. Okay. And we'll set up the Delsi number, frame relay, interface, and DLCI is what here? 302. This is linking to router 3. Okay. And then you just exit. Now we set up the routing entry, the routing table. Okay, so we'll do router, setting up the router on router 3 EIGRB, and then the autonomous system is one. We cannot have different autonomous system. It will not work. They should all use the same autonomous system. And the network here is 10.1.1. 3.0, and I will tell you why now. 0 .0 .0 3. This is my world mask. Okay, the second network is 10.1.2.0, and this is using 0 .0 0.0.0.3 wild mask. Okay. We are done. Now to verify the connection, you can type show frame relay map, show, show frame relay PVC, or show frame relay LMI on any of the routers. Okay? So let's go to router one. Just to, by the way, in the exam, they might ask you, how do you verify? How do you troubleshoot? So you should know what are these commands. Okay? Enable. If I type show uh, frame relay, okay, map, it will show me the mapping. Okay, you see here, yeah, it is, we have a sub interface dot two and it is mapped to router two. We have another one dot three and it is mapped 
to or it has a DLCI router to router three, one zero three. Okay, excellent. Show frame relay map. It is written in uh, page three. Also, it's in the theory lecture. The second command you need to know is show PVC. Permanent virtual circuit. Again, here it's showing me I have the LCI 102 broadcast. Okay, and it's uh, configured on serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 dot 2. No shutdown if it was down or if it's not configured. Okay, now the last command for troubleshooting is show frame relay LMI. LMI. Okay. That's it.